out to the ball game. Roy Elia coming to you from Burleski Stadium where, well, it's just another night at the office for the Walla Walla Suites. Just your basic come from behind win. All appears lost, seven to four, bottom of the ninth. No need to worry. That's me saying that? No need to worry? Suites work four times in the bottom of the ninth inning and come up with an improbable eight to seven victory over the Ridgefield Raptors. And we are joined for this post-game edition of the Sweet Scoop by the man who is, last name is Vit, and he proved in the bottom of the ninth he is legit. Bryce Vitt, tell us about that at bat in the bottom of the ninth, a three-run double to tie the game, and then you're scurrying to third after a throwing error to get yourself 90 feet away from the game-winning run. You know... <laughs> My man. But first things first, let us consume that portion mm -hmm. of hot dog first, then we will get the response from Bryce Vitt, yeah, if deep. that is all right. Yeah, um, yeah so <laughs> their closer came out. He was... Uh, wasn't really on his game, it seemed like. You know, he walked a couple guys. Um, Chaz had a nice 0-2 hit. Um, uh, it seemed like he started to pick it up a little when uh, Carson came up. Um, then I get up there, you know, right before, actually, I was talking about how the bat I was using was not the one I wanted to use because I broke one earlier. Um, so I just got up there, uh, saw a pitch, and, and drove it. Well, you did just that, and as you were rounding the bases, what kind of adrenaline rush have you has it been a while since you've had an adrenaline rush like that or oh yeah it's it's crazy it's awesome to be at the center of that um and <laughs> speaking of the center of it brock Efon making a cameo appearance and here's a cameo appearance by sean mckillop doing their best larry price impressions here at the ballpark so again uh, talking about that adrenaline rush as you're making your way around the base paths yeah you know it's awesome uh it feels so good to help the team in that way. Um, I feel like I had kind of a rough night before that, and then to be able to do that just felt awesome. And now some love from Reed Sebi. Don't ask me what that's all about. And then a boo in the air from Travis Craven. I hope he wasn't giving me a cat call. Not that kind of boo, but what an amazing win. I mean, we have seen it at times this year, Bryce, before you arrived. You know, we talk about the quality of the ball club. And here was an example of, okay, we're down three in the bottom of the ninth, nowhere to go but up. And right. is that kind of the attitude you guys took into the bottom of the ninth? I mean, yeah, they score yeah. three, but, you know, you just don't want to just roll over just because Repetti's coming into the ball game. Yeah, you know, um, that top of the ninth definitely uh, it hit us pretty hard, you know. Three runs, I mean, that's tough. Um, and, I mean, our pitchers were, I think, for the most part, doing their job. Uh, they just kind of squeaked out a couple hits, got a couple runs, got a few runs. Um, but, yeah, we went back in the dugout, and LP actually said, uh, he's like, we're not scoring three, we're scoring four. We're getting out of here. And, you know, that's exactly what we did. Those are the comments of Walla Walla Sweet Bryce Fitt, who comes up, do I dare use the word ginormous? I mean, I could think of a few other choice words, but... That was the first one that came to my incredibly warped mind. Bryce, congratulations. Congratulations to the Walla Walla Sweets. Sweets Nation, you got to be proud of these boys. you got to love these guys. The resiliency they showed tonight was nothing short of incredible. The Sweets, eight. The Ridgefield Raptors, seven. The final game of this series, tomorrow night at 635 here at Burleski Stadium. For Bryce Vitt, and with another addition of the Sweet Scoop postgame. I'm Roy Elia. Take me out to the ball game.